Hey everybody, welcome back. I am Stephanie and thank you for tuning into my channel. So today I thought I should film something a little different since most colleges are starting to take applications either for early admission or just regular old applications and school just actually started like about a week ago for some schools if not earlier. I'm actually finished, I'm done, I graduated. So if you want to learn more or anything about my little tips and tricks, just stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so a lot of you are probably searching right now for the college that you think will you that you will fit in the best with or that best fits with you. And let me tell you something. As a senior in high school, do do your homework. And I'm not talking about like your homework in class, which that would help too. But I'm talking about research the colleges that you want you think you want to go to, that you think are gonna be Good for you. Research the location. Do you want to be far from home? Do you want to be near from home? Do you want to be at home? Just do the research because it's definitely going to help. And visit schools. Go to their tours and take a look around the campus because believe it or not, even though you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, a campus says a lot about the school. Campus has a lot to do with the decision that you make even though it may not seem like it. Just take a look around see if it like it's giving you the vibes that you okay. want. Another tip, I know that, um, what are they called, your admissions essay, is super important. But, let me, word of advice. So, if you're someone who normally procrastinates and does everything last minute and you have seen that that gives you your best results, I actually suggest you do the same thing with your college admissions essay. And you're probably thinking that I was going to say the opposite. But if your best work comes when you're pressured, do the same thing. Do what you have to in order for you to be comfortable. And if you think that's going to help, procrastinate. I mean, if you already got through every other, all your other school years by procrastinating, you might not do it again. So don't think that getting into college is just about the SATs. It's not. Of course, getting a good score on your SATs or ACTs is a very important factor of getting into school, but remember, they base your admissions off your essay. The essay is like the number one thing. Then from that, it's grades and your GPA. And don't think that because you have something lower than a 3.5, you will not get in. Trust me, what knocks you out of the ballpark is that essay. So like I said, pay attention to that essay. If you procrastinate normally, procrastinate on that. If you don't, don't procrastinate. So it goes both ways. Do a lot of extracurricular activities. I think I didn't get into a couple of schools because I didn't have enough curricular activities. I was great on paper, but outside of that, not so much. So do that for sure. When you apply, some people suggest applying undeclared and then some people suggest declaring a major. So if you have an idea of what you want to do when you start off, declare the major because it's easier probably to get into a school declaring a major versus doing it undeclared. But there's nothing wrong with going in undeclared because that actually gives you more options once you're in the school and you're undeclared. Once you're done with your GEs, which takes about a year and a half, and you know what, you get more of a vibe once you're there of what you want to do. It's easier to jump into one of the majors within the school versus applying right off the bat. So don't think that you have to have set in stone what you're going to do. If you choose a major when you go in there, and you don't like it halfway through, don't think that's what you have to finish in because it's not, it's, that's, you still have two more years to figure it out. Dorming is probably one of the greatest experiences that you can ever have and it opens you up to so many different situations. So apply for FAFSA. Even if you think you're not gonna get a single penny, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't cost anything to apply. So I'll put that link down below. Because trust me, maybe you'll get lucky and you get a thousand dollars for financial aid. So apply and don't let that opportunity go to waste because you don't know how much money that stuff can save you. All right, another tip. When you're in the dorms or even out of the dorms, make friends. If you're not dorming, try to find buddies to carpool with. That's the like really good, a great way to make friends. If you're in the dorms, just don't stay in your room all the time. But make friends, be out there, be social. Go to your um, halls, events, do all those stuff because if you don't do it, in the end, you're going to regret it. So what do you do in order to choose the perfect classes for yourself? When you choose a class, you don't want to choose a class because the professor, someone told you the professor is easy. 
It might have been easy for them, but it could be hard for you. So what I say you do is you go to ratemyprofessor.com, look for your college, and then look for your professor that you're going, um, that you're interested in taking a class with, and see what other people have said. Some people have like really high rates, so above a 3.5 that means they're easy, and below uh, 2.8 I think that means they're hard. But sometimes it's happened that you take professors that are in a 3 and above range, and they're hard. Don't look specifically at the rate, look at the things and the reviews that people have said. I super recommend it because it changes your perspective on everything. When it comes to colleges, you have hundreds and hundreds of options. You have private, public, UC, Cal, uh, uh, state, university. Quick thinking if, let's say for example, if you want to go out of the state, so whatever state you live in, you want to go out of state, take into consideration that it's going to cost you double to go to school out of state versus staying in the state that you actually live in. And if you do stay in state, there are so many options. Don't think you just have to go to the college that's across the street or around the corner. Do your research, as I said. And so after finally taking a whole four years of over 200 units, I can tell you that college is not hard. It's actually basically high school all over again with a couple more things to deal with. Papers are a lot longer, but it's not impossible. So if you're panicking or just running around thinking, I can't do it, yes, you can. I will tell you that although college may seem really hard in the beginning, it's gonna go by so quickly. And don't think that because you're the smartest person now, you're gonna be the smartest person when you get to college. Or if you don't think you're smart, you're gonna remain the same once you go to school. College is a whole different other world. Everyone's on different levels. There's always gonna be someone above you and below you. So just do you and enjoy college. It goes by as quickly as a blink of an eye. Okay, so this was sort of like a mini how to survive college video as well as tips before enrolling into school. And if you have any more questions, please let me know down below and give this video a thumbs up and I'll be happy to make more. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon.